Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to make an FTP server from your Thompson Gateway. I've made this video because when I was trying to figure this out for myself, I found it really hard to find video tutorials on how to do this process. All I had was Google searches and pages on pages of just write it, of reading material, I mean. To be able to set up the FTP server, you might want to check out the tutorial I made before this video how to, you, how to set up a content sharing server. This will help a lot when trying to make an FTP server. I'll provide a link in the description of my other video. In the first part, we must make sure your content server is currently running. To do this, go to start, type in run. You'll see the command in the description Type it in in the run command. If a window pops up, that means your content sharing server is currently running, so there's no need to edit any settings. If no window pops up, please look at my previous video on how to configure a content share. The next step we're going to do is log into your router. To do this, go to your internet browser and type in the link that I've provided in the description. You'll be prompted with a username and password. The username is admin and the password, if you've never logged into your router before, is a blank. Is blank. Go. When you get to this page, go configure. Make sure the FTP server tick box is ticked or this will not work. Also make sure where it says disk one, make sure that it says manage petition is ticked. Go apply. and make sure all your settings look like this as the video does. The next step we're gonna do is create a port for the FTP server. Go to create a new game or application. Now in the name, call it something that you'll remember or something relevant to the FTP server. For my instance, I'm gonna call it local FTP server. Remember if you've used capitals in the name. Go next and use port 21. Don't use any other port except 21. And go add. Make sure that your page looks like the video. The next step, we'll have to turn a feature on in Windows. Go to Start and start typing in Turn On Windows Features Off and On. You'll see it in the search bar. Scroll down to where it says Telnet, Client and Server. Tick both tick boxes and go OK. It might take three minutes for it to install. After that, go to the CMD. Type in Telnet. Now type in o space 10 dot o dot o dot o dot one three eight space twenty three. The username will be admin, and if you still don't have a password on it, leave it blank. For my instance, I have a password on my router. Type in menu. Going to menu will bring up a many list of options. Use the arrow keys to navigate to service. Press enter and navigate to host and press enter on host. Navigate to assign and press enter on assign. Press enter to type in a name. Start typing the name. Remember to, na to add the name which you called your FTP server earlier in the video. It has to be exact even if it has capitals in it. The host will be 192.168.1.253. It will be in the description also. Press enter when done and use tab to go OK. Press tab twice to go cancel and type in the command save all. Press enter. This can take up to a minute to process the command. And to exit it, just type in exit. 
by refreshing the game and applications web page you will now see where you've added the local FTP server and a device it's assigned to. This means you have successfully configured the router for it to be able to give the content share device a port number. Now go back to content sharing and highlight and copy the FTP address you see. Copy that and go to start computer and paste it in the Windows browser. This will load. The password it will be admin and if you never entered a password before it will be blank. Click OK and it should come up with something like this. I've added a test page for myself to test if it's all working. If this works for you, you have completed an FTP server. If you're still facing trouble with after watching this video, please leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. This has been the easiest way I've known myself how to create an FTP server available outside the local network. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to set up an FTP server. For Mac, I'll make another video later.